All right, guys, I'm gonna take you hunting with me. It's about 5.50 and I'm going to head down to the deer blind on foot. It's gonna take me a little bit, not too long. But I'm gonna walk down there and uh, get set up before the sunrise comes. Last night, I saw a massive buck. <laughs> Excuse me, I saw a massive buck on the cam last night. I'm hoping he shows up again, but again, there ain't no telling what's going on. So let's go ahead and head down there. The house looks pretty. All right, you guys can't see anything. I'll record once I get there. I know you can't see me, but I got my heater. Dear blind. And I'm gonna sit here till that sun comes up. So one thing people don't talk about is when you are sitting and you're looking for your buck, just being able to watch the wildlife un, undisturbed by anything. Uh, there was a, a, some young bucks here. One didn't even have any antlers really except for like one little spike coming out. And that other one was maybe a year, maybe a year or so old. Uh, but just watching them mess around and, and, and do their thing was, was super awesome just to sit back and watch the birds flying in. Uh, there, there's nothing to hear except nature, which was super cool just hanging out there waiting for the buck that I wanted. Um, I even put the camera up to my binoculars and it actually got a pretty good shot right here. I can kind of see him up close. So that one, I'm gonna let him grow for a couple years and he'll be nice. Um, but yeah, man, just sitting in the deer blind, just chilling is pretty nice. That was the most intense shot I've ever taken. I can't see him because he's behind the trees. He, <sighs> give me a second. <sighs> I'm like shaking. <sighs> <sighs> so he was moving. I can turn you guys around. I can show you. He was moving way down behind those trees, um, those oak trees there. And he was moving down because we have water down that way. <laughs> And he was coming across, but he wasn't slowing down. He was like, he was like pawing at the ground or whatever you call it. And he was like shaking his, his antlers, which was weird because there was no other deer around. So he wasn't trying to be dominant. I don't know what he's going. Um, but uh, he started to break off behind the, the trees. Holy crap, I'm still shaking. So right, right before he broke, I just did a quick little ant antler rattle and it made him stop behind a tree. I couldn't shoot him. He was sitting behind the tree. I couldn't shoot him. I did a little antler rattle and he literally like walked out. He took like three steps out and I went to shoot him and then he went right back behind it. And then he came out on the other side and I had to pop him in. And I, he literally ran off behind the trees, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I bodied him. I'm pretty sure I bodied him. I have to sit here and wait because uh, he was a big buck and I think uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him plenty of time to simmer down because um, I don't want to those those bucks if you if you jump the gun on them I learned this I learned this the hard way that adrenaline will send them they can then go for a mile with a with a shot right through the right through their chest so um, I, I, I bodied him straight in the shoulder let's go do this
he's not as big as I thought, but that's a good, that's a good symmetrical deer right there. That's, that's nice. Don't want to show you guys that. Let's see where my shot was. I mean, tell me, tell me you get a more perfect shot than that. That's cash money right there. Thanks for your life. Thanks for your food. Appreciate you. And uh, you're going to feed the family for the next year, man. I appreciate it.